Hi there, thanks for tuning in. I'm Daniel Patterson. This is everything that's going on in your neighbourhood for the month of September. So what we're noticing across the board in all our core markets is that there's an increase in confidence. What I mean by that is there's an increase in confidence from sellers to put their properties on the market, but most importantly, the buyer pool out there has a lot of confidence in terms of you know, making offers and also committing to sales and purchases, which is seeing a good volume of transactions happening in our marketplace. Now these are all really positive things, especially because we're going into our main period of trade. Our office alone last month had 13 sales. What was interesting about that is we actually had apartments and also homes sell. Majority of our auction campaigns, a deal was actually done prior to, which is obviously a good sign of a strong market, but anything that did actually go to the auction itself seemed to trade for a premium well above Endor's expectations, which is also a really good sign. So let's have a look at our markets and see how they've performed. First of all, have a look at 2046. Now that area by far is actually tracking really well. It's had 29 sales in the past month, and again, a really good mix of properties. Some really good apartments have been trading and coming on the market within a couple of weeks, getting a really good premium offer made, and the deal's been coming together, which is great. But most importantly, we've also seen some houses trade for a fairly good value, and even some duplex or development sites seem to be trading under the hammer well above what we would perceive to be real market value. Now, if we have a look at over 2047, 2047 is also having another really good month. That had 16 sales, and these are all really good things, moving into obviously the spring selling season. Now that also too had a really good mix of apartments and also house sales. But one thing I just want to mention that was really interesting is there was a brand new development which was in St George's Crescent called the Isles. Now that was a number of luxury apartments which were being marketed off the plan. The penthouse there actually traded off the plan for $9 million. Now that's not only a record in say for example 2847, but it's also a record for an apartment sale in 2046. And even if you go further afield into even some more areas where the average price is a little bit higher, Again, we haven't really seen an apartment trade off the plan in a suburban area like ours for a very long time, even anywhere near that kind of price. So that too is obviously a testament to see that that marketplace there is still performing really well. And there's a lot of confidence out there. Now there's been also a lot of talk about, obviously the lenders at the moment are now actually having a little bit of a push from the government in terms of having their qualifications for a buyer or their loan process to be relaxed a little bit. Now these are all really good things. They probably won't come into place until around about March, but that too will probably attribute it to a lot of sort of buyer confidence and buyer commitment over the course of the spring season. Look, and just this week also, the budget's come out from the government, and that too is obviously very focused heavily upon stimulus. Now, stimulus also will have an inverse effect on the property market, and hopefully that will obviously help us continue throughout a strong spring selling season, and most importantly, top it off with a great summer season. Now, what we want is a really good traction in terms of volume of sales happening this year, so that we start 2021 really strong with a number of really good properties coming onto the marketplace. That's it from me. Bye for now. Thanks very much for tuning in. Look forward to catching up with you and letting you know how things went in October.